My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, today we celebrate the World Mission Sunday and publicly renew our missionary commitment. It is an occasion for us to think about our God-given mission of preaching the gospel. We also try to participate in the various missionary activities of the church with our prayers and financial support. Pope Francis has chosen the theme for this year, Hearts on Fire, Feet on the move. This theme is based on the story of the disciples who encountered Jesus on their way to Emmaus. Luke chapter 24 verses 13 to 35. The Pope invites all of us to be inspired by our encounter with the risen Lord to preach the gospel. Let us set out again with burning hearts, with our eyes open and our feet in motion. Let us set out to make other hearts burn with the word of God, to open the eyes of others to Jesus in their Eucharist and to invite everyone to walk together on the path of peace and salvation that God in Christ has bestowed upon all humanity. The reason for the existence of the Church is to preach the Gospel to the ends of the earth. The Second Vatican Council says, that the church on earth by its very nature is missionary. At Genesis number 2 All those who have received baptism have the vocation to actively participate in this responsibility. Pope John Paul II says, since salvation is offered to all, it must be made concretely available to all. Redemptoris Missio Number 10 Those who haven't heard or experienced the love of Christ have the right to hear it and we should be the bearers of that good news. In the Gospel reading today, the Pharisees ask a question to Jesus whether it is legitimate to pay taxes to Caesar. Jesus answers them, saying, Render therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. Matthew chapter 22 verse 21 it has a deeper meaning if we reflect more on the image on the coin and the image of God in human beings. Caesar is entitled to the tax because his image is in the coin. But on a higher level, human beings bear the mark of God and, O oh God, for their existence. The book of Genesis clearly states, God created mankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Chapter 1 verse 27. It also means that God's image is not in the coin, but in it one of us. The material things belong to this world and its rulers, but we are created for eternity. If Caesar has the right to claim the coin, how much more God has the right to claim us.
who are his children. Mission Sunday is not just a call on doing something in a distant land. Many of us may not have a vocation to preach the gospel in a foreign land, but we all have a responsibility in living and preaching the gospel in our own life situation. This Sunday also calls us to evaluate on how we fulfill our responsibility in living the gospel in our own community. We need to work together in revitalizing our faith and Christian traditions. Everyone in our community has a right to experience the love of God. Our communities should grow to a level where we can help people in different parts of the world. Our lives are not just meant for ourselves. We find the meaning and purpose of our lives when we are able to share our talents and blessings with others. God will bless us more when we become a blessing to all those who are around us. Let us try to reflect the image of God imprinted on us by engaging in activities pleasing to God.